like atomic radius ionic radius is difficult to measure because there is no sharp boundary of the outer electron clouds of an ion the minimum distance between a cation and an anion is measured by x-ray crystallographic method this distance actually gives the sum of ionic radii of the cation and the anion but again how can we know the radius of a single ion the problem was solved by measuring the ionic bond length of an ionic crystal such as lithium iodide where the cationic radius of lithium ion was assumed to fit in the vacant spaces of the iodide ions thus this length was measured and was more or less twice the ionic radius of iodide ion without much error once the ionic radius of the iodide ion was known the ionic radii of other anions and cations could be measured by measuring the ionic bond lengths of other ionic crystals there are mainly two factors which affect the radius of an ion number 1 the coordination number coordination number is the number of atoms or ions the central atom of the crystal is attached to for a same ion the ionic radius increases with the coordination number because the electron cloud is drawn by the presence of more surrounding ions number 2 the spin state in the case of transition metals there are 5d orbital which form coordination complexes by bonding with negative or neutral ligands a feature which you will be taught in class 12 for the time being it's worthy to note that the transition metal d orbital split into two parts The first part is called T2G and contains 3 orbitals of lower energy and the second part is called EG and contain 2 orbital of a little bit higher energy. When the electrons pair up in T2G without filling of EG it is called low spin and when all 5 orbital are singly filled up before pairing up then it is called high spin. An ion in the high spin state will be larger than the same ion in the low spin state cations are smaller than neutral atoms because when an atom loses an electron the nuclear charge pulls the lesser number of electron towards it and the lost electron no longer shields the other electrons so the other electron come closer to the nucleus anions are bigger than neutral atoms because When an electron is added to the shell the mutual repulsion between the electrons in the shell increases and the added electron contributes more to the shielding effect causes the shell to expand The calculation of ionic radius is based on distance between cation and an anion and not the covalent bond length which is used to measure the covalent radius Now electron clouds in ions do not overlap as they do in covalent bonds so the ionic radius of an ion without this overlap is seemingly bigger note the table showing the mx bond lengths in sodium and silver halide crystals you see that sodium ion seem to be bigger than silver ion in the chloride and iodide crystals whereas in fluoride crystals the sodium ion is smaller than the silver ion This is due to the fact that AgCl and AgI bonds have marked covalent character and the overlapping of electron cloud comes into play. For isoelectronic ions like O2- F- Na+ Mg2+ we see that for cations Na+ and Mg2+ the higher the charge the smaller the radius. Here Mg2+ will have a smaller radius due to extra attractive pull by 12 protons instead of 11 protons as in the sodium ion. For anions O2- and F-, the higher the charge, the bigger will be the radius. The periodic trend down a group is increasing as expected. Thank you for watching this video.